everybody welcome to day 79 of Risa Stories and today I'm going to be reading you Bear Can't Sleep. It was winter and all the animals were busy. Soon the forest would be covered in snow. Fox gathered wood for winter fires while Owl and Squirrel made pickles and jam. Patch the hair, tried to help, but he got in everyone's way as usual. Oh, get your feet out of my berries, cried squirrel. Hush, hooted owl. What's that strange sound? Peeping around the trees, the animals saw a huge, grumbly, big bear dragging. Branches behind him. Everyone froze except Patch. Hey, Mr. Bear, he shouted. Need some help? He's as big as a mountain. He's heading for the cave. Leave me be, snapped the bear. I need to sleep. And he shuffled into the cave. But the bear could not sleep. Day and night he roared and rumbled, he growled, he howled. That bear sounds angry, said Fox. What if he comes after us? Squeak mouse. Maybe he's hungry, said Squirrel. I'd like to take him some food, said Patch. I'm not scared of any old bear. Patch made... A huge stack of blueberry and pickled onion sandwiches and loaded them onto his scooter. You who Mr. Berry called whizzing over. He made you we made you a scrumptious snack, but Pat forgot to look where he was going. Suddenly his scooter hit a rock. Crash! Down he tumbled right on top of the blueberry and onion sandwiches. From inside the cave a terrible roar. Be quiet out there, bear yowled, or else. Eek! Squeal mouse. He's coming to get us. Quick! cried Owl. Hide! All the animals hid except Patch who picked up on one not so squashed sandwich and walked right up to the dark cave. Come back here, hair fox called. But Patch tiptoed as Patch peeped in, he heard Bear sigh. I'm old and I'm cold. I'm too shiver cold to sleep. He's not hungry, Patch whispered. He's cold. Oh, poor old Bear. All day long, Patch couldn't stop worrying about Bear. Finally, he lay down under a tree to think as he looked. The leaves made a patchwork against the evening sky and Patch had an idea. That night, he tiptoed through the forest, borrowing things from all the animals snore patch pinned and stitched stitched till dawn when the animals woke they were hopping mad just then patch appeared he spread a beautiful patchwork quilt on the ground my pajamas you took my shirt, exclaimed Fox. My apron, my undies. I only meant 
to help, said Patch, but the animals fussed and shouted all the more. Suddenly, Bear stomped into the clearing. He lifted Fox into the air. I said, be quiet. I said, be quiet. He roared, I'm trying to sleep. The animals shook with fear, except Patch, of course. Patch jumped onto a stump. Don't be cross, Mr. Bear, he begged. We brought you a present. Look, it's made from clothes, borrowed from all the animals, the old bear sniffed. Then gently set Fox down. You gave your things to me, he said. What fine friends you are. He made a quilt to keep you warm. Bear clutched. The cosy quick to his furry chest. And shuffled back into the cave. Hey, Mr. Bear called Patch. How about some bedtime stories? And so as the first flakes of snow drifted down, the animals snorted and told stories until Bear fell fast asleep. The end. I hope you enjoyed that lovely story and relaxing story. So I hope you enjoyed the story called Bear Can't Sleep. So I hope you got outside today because the sun came out around the evening. And I hope you have been doing jobs for your mom and dad. And I hope you enjoyed the story. And I'll see you all tomorrow for day 80 of Reese's Stories. And also subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. So bye.